standard conditions. As a convenience, um, we refer to a pressure of one atmosphere, which is the same as 760 torr or 760 millimeters of mercury, as standard pressure. That is a very normal pressure. That's average atmospheric pressure at sea level. Standard temperature is 273 Kelvin or zero degrees Celsius. Um, I think the reason this was chosen is because standard temperature is a temperature that's very easy to achieve. Remember, many of these gas experiments were done in the 16 and 1700s. They did not have refrigerators, right? They had no way of just cooling something off and holding it at that temperature. They could heat stuff up with Bunsen burners, but you know they didn't have a good way to control temperature. The cool thing about the cool thing about zero degrees Celsius is um, that's the temperature of ice water. If you have a gas and you want it to be at zero degrees Celsius, submerge it in an ice bath. Wait a few minutes, done. It's zero. So that's convenient. And if you want it to be at standard pressure, you attach a manometer and you adjust it so that the levels are equal and you've got one atmosphere of pressure. So we call this standard temperature and pressure. It's abbreviated STP. And it's useful for making comparisons between different gases. So you need to know that STP is one atmosphere and zero degrees Celsius. Um, molar volume. We've had molar mass. That's the mass of one mole. Guess what molar volume is? The volume of one mole of gas at STP. Well, let's calculate what that would be. It's going to be the same for all gases because the volume doesn't depend on the size of the gas particles. It depends on how many there are. So let's calculate that. So PV equals nRT. So we want volume. Um, so volume is going to be nRT divided by the pressure. We want the volume of one mole. So that means that n is 1. Exactly 1. And r is 0 0.0820. Zero six liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. Um, you know what? I'm going to get rid of these zeros, and um, this is we're, we're talking exactly one. You can't measure exactly one mole, but you can calculate something about exactly one mole. What's the temperature? Two seventy three Kelvin. Didn't leave much space there. And the pressure is one atmosphere. And STP, those would be considered exact numbers as well. So I've got one times 0 0.08206 times 273 divided by one. The volume is. 22.40 liters. Any questions? The volume of one mole of any gas at one atmosphere and zero degrees Celsius, 22.4 liters. 22.4 liters is a cube about this, this with a side about this long. So it's big, but it's not like a house or anything. You'd fit it in the back seat of your car. A good size moving box. So not sure why, but we generally just use the three decimal places. I mean the three sig figs on the, S, the volume, molar volume. Um, the molar volume of any gas at STP is 22.4. If you forget that number, you could calculate it yourself, just like we did, 22.4 liters per mole. That's a very useful conversion factor. 
So that's the volume of Avogadro's number of gas molecules. What the gas is doesn't matter. <coughs> Very useful conversion factor. Yeah? So this may seem like a weird question, but so there's only true of elements that are gaseous at standard temperature and pressure? Yes, it has to be a gas at standard temperature and pressure. And many things are not, right. like water. Yeah. Yeah. So it's this, yeah. So here's an illustration. Here we have some gas cylinders. This one's got uh, helium and xenon. And if we look at the periodic table, xenon has a mass of 131 uh, AMUs, one, one atom does, and one atom of helium is only four atomic mass units. Which one do you think is a bigger atom? Probably the xenon, right? So here we have one mole. Avogadro's number, obviously that's not Avogadro's number of little balls in there. It's representative. At STP, occupies 22.4 liters. Xenon, here, these atoms, look at them. They're bigger, aren't they? Still takes up 22.4 liters of space. How, does, how could that be? There's a lot of empty space between those particles. And so the actual size of the particle doesn't matter. Here's methane. Four hydrogen atoms and a carbon atom. That's going to take up some space, especially compared to helium. One mole of it still occupies 22.4 liters. Molar volume. Uh, what about density? We talked a little bit about density uh, with the helium balloon. So density is um, the mass over the volume. Um, I'm not real keen on how they do this, but density is mass divided by volume. We usually express the density of a gas in grams per liter instead of grams per milliliter because gases are so much less dense um, that using liters gives us nicer numbers. What's the mass of one mole of a gas? It's whatever the molar mass is, right? What's the volume of one mole of gas at STP? 22.4 liters. So at STP, we can find the density of a gas by just taking its molar mass and dividing by 22.4. Here's two examples, helium and nitrogen at STP. So the molar mass of helium is 4 grams per mole, the volume of a mole is 22.4 liters. You do the math, you end up with 0.179 grams per liter. That's less dense than air, and that's why helium balloons float. Nitrogen, diatomic, its molar mass is 28. It still has the same volume, and so its, its density is going to be larger, 1.25 grams per liter. Any questions? So the gas, um, a gas density is directly proportional to its molar mass. If the molar mass is larger, twice as big, then the density of that gas is going to be twice as large. Um, and, and this proves it and gives you this little equation. I kind of think that's dumb, but there it is. So let's, let's calculate a density. Calculate the density of xenon gas at a pressure of 742 millimeters of mercury and a temperature of 45 degrees Celsius. Now, you could use that equation from the previous slide, but I think that's a waste of memorization effort. We already know that density is mass over volume, right? So we know that density is the mass of something divided by its volume. 
So we need to find the mass of this gas and the volume of this gas. But we don't know how much gas there is. So we're going to do what we've done in some other situations. We're just going to choose an amount. We're going to choose one mole because it's convenient. So just choose one mole of gas. Well, what's the mass of one mole of xenon? Periodic table. One mole is the molar mass, 131. So the mass of one mole is 131.3 grams. What's the volume? Well, they're giving us a pressure and a temperature. We decided to use one mole, that's N. Can we calculate the volume? Yep. So the PV equals NRT. So the volume is NRT divided by P. We can't use the molar volume at STP because this is not standard temperature and pressure. So we're going to have uh, one mole because we picked that. We're going to have R 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. Um, we need a temperature. Well, this temperature is 45 degrees Celsius. But looking at the units here, we need this in Kelvin. 273.15, 318.15. So there's the temperature. It's got to be in Kelvin. And then we're going to divide by the pressure. They gave us pressure in millimeters of mercury. So we need to convert that. 742 millimeters of mercury. We need it to be in atmospheres. Multiply by atmospheres. Divide by millimeters of mercury. One atmosphere is 760 millimeters of mercury. So 742 divided by 760. 0 0.976, there's my three sig figs, carry two extras, there's my pressure, 0 0.97632 atmospheres. Moles cancel, atoms cancel, sorry, atmospheres. Kelvin's cancel. Point oh. 8206 times 318.15 divided by 0 0.97632, 26741 liters. At this point in a problem like this, you kind of feel a little dazed and you're like, wait a minute, I just found a volume but I was doing density. Oh, yeah, that's right. Look, I was, I needed, I needed the volume to plug in there, right? Sometimes you forget where you were going with that. Um, if that happens to you a lot, um, make notes to yourself. So here's my mass, and I'm going to divide by my density. And this is going... No, I'm dividing by the volume of the density. I'm finding the density. My seven-year-old woke us up at 4.30 and was unhappy because Odd Squad was not on PBS Kids yet. And I threw a temper tantrum in my bed. Okay, mass divided by volume. <laughs> my calculator is giving me 4.91. Anybody else getting that? Yeah. So that's the density of this gas, 4.9191 grams per liter. Any questions? 
the density of a gas depends on which gas it is, because that involves mass. Pressure, volume, and temperature depend on the number of particles. Enough for today.